if you're Batman, your computer is your utility belt. Has this happened to you before? Picture this. You're just getting home from work. Maybe you had an idea in your head while you were driving and you're thinking, oh man, this is gonna be so cool. You open up the DAW and you're about to lay the track down. It's gonna be the most amazing idea you've ever recorded. And all of a sudden, as soon as you open up your DAW, the fans start spinning like crazy. I'm talking, they sound like jet engines about to take off. Every time you try to hit play, the system starts shaking and the CPU goes up to like 20,000% and you haven't even hit the record button yet. Frustrating, right? <laughs> Trust me, I totally understand. Come on, man. Whether you're wrestling with an old lagging computer or debating on what specs are really important when it comes to upgrading your system to keep up with your sync licensing aspirations, in today's video, we're gonna be diving super deep into the world of music production, specifically for computers, which is gonna be your secret weapon on your quest to obtain more sync licensing opportunities. In today's day and age, your computer is not just any tool, it's your whole studio. It's where you create all those headbanging tracks, where you mix, where you master, it's where you lay down recordings of really cool sounds, sound design, and put all those things together in order to make all those crazy bops that get licensed and make you money. So it's not just a tool, it's your partner in the creative process. If you're Batman, your computer is your utility belt. When I first started out, I had a very, wait a minute, I got it right here. This was my first MacBook Pro that got me into music production. I got it in 2015. This is a mid-2012 MacBook Pro, and I bought this for eight hundred dollars and it's still actually kicking right now it still works obviously and it was just the regular old run-the-mill computer i mean it's all right like but it used to drive me absolutely insane now fast forward six years from then and now i'm orchestrating a symphony of sounds on a beast of a machine that takes everything i throw at it with ease the difference is night and day and i'm going to show you with you the specs and how they're different later in the video so trust me i'm speaking from experience y'all a well-equipped computer isn't a luxury it's a necessity now we're going to talk about three major things that are normally considered what you should be paying attention to when you're looking to upgrade in a way that it helps with sync licensing specifically so we're going to picture our new computer as this film production studio okay we're going to try to keep with the images of music and film being tied together so we have this building of a computer and it holds your film production studio the first thing that's really important that you need to have is enough RAM RAM stands for random access memory and it's the short-term memory of your computer so think about this when you're cooking up tracks for sync all the layers that you continuously add to build more excitement every small little detail you add on top of them whether that be reverb delay different compression just to add depth and dimension to your sound all these things are super necessary in order to make a really dope track that you can end up licensing for potentially thousands of dollars but it comes at a cost to your computer's resources so your ram is like the stage hands that run around the building and make sure the sets are set up the right way all the props are in the right place all kinds of different crazy things they're like the maintenance of the whole operation. The larger the crew or the more RAM you have in a computer, the more tasks it can handle simultaneously. So if you have a trailer that has like over 250 tracks full of sound design and different orchestra libraries and all that kind of stuff that are really, really heavy, it's able to handle that all simultaneously. But if you stop there and you just get a computer full of a bunch of RAM, you're going to end up with a major problem. Because the second thing that we need to make sure that's in our computer is a good CPU. Imagine being able to bounce your tracks fast have the capability to handle even more soft synth plugins, plugins like Serum, or even 12 different Omnispheres if you wanted to, without your DAW or computer breaking a sweat. That's what the power of a good CPU can do for you. And this is why it's important for sync licensing. It can be the hairline difference between you nailing a deadline for a sync opportunity and missing it completely. Serious? Because even though you finished all the things that they were asking for for the brief, you ended up not being able to bounce it fast enough before the deadline. Or the session was so heavy that it just crashed your computer and now you don't have the save file anymore. Dare I even say it became corrupted. My disappointment is immeasurable. Consider your CPU as like the director for the film production studio building of a computer. As the director, they're on top of every scene. They're making sure everybody's doing their job correctly, including the actors, the people that are handling the camera equipment, the boom mics, all that stuff. They're making sure everybody's doing their job as efficiently as possible. Coordinating all the activities like, hey, we're gonna shoot this scene first and then we're gonna move on to this one at lightning speed. Without a skilled director or a powerful CPU, the production would suffer and potentially collapse under 
under the huge weight of having all these moving parts happening at the same time. I don't think you have the facilities for that big man. The Ram can only do so much without a leader to dictate, okay, I need you to do this, we'll do this, and then we'll come together as a team and tackle this project over here. You have to have a good CPU. Now, nine times out of 10, when you're looking for a good CPU, all you need to do is find a computer within the last two years. Most of them try to stay very competitive when it comes to processing power in a CPU. The only thing I would warn you against is make sure you don't get an Intel MacBook because there was a huge fan situation that was a huge problem. Boy, was that a nightmare. But we'll save that for another video. Let me know what your current setup is in your studio right now in the comments. And make sure you subscribe if you want more tips on music production and or sync licensing. And don't forget, at the end of this video, I'm going to share with you my personal setup specs. And I'm going to give you the minimum requirements if I was looking for a new computer today just to get started. So we covered RAM and we covered CPU. But without this next element, you're neglecting a huge part of the equation. And it's very subtle. And that's storage. Storage is like the unsung hero in the music production world. You got all these huge sample libraries that you're using on a daily basis to make your instruments sound as real as possible. Your extensive plugin collection, obviously your DAW and all the other doohickeys that you have to make your music sound expensive. They'll all load up a lot faster and a lot smoother if you got plenty of space for them. And it generally gives you less of a headache and less of the urge to try to throw your computer out the window when you're needing something really fast. And when you're in a creative flow or under a tight deadline, the last thing you want to be held up by is a long loading time. Storage is like the film studio's archive. This is where all the costumes, the props, scripts, and all your recorded footage is kept safe and sound. The bigger the storage area, the more resources you're gonna have at your disposal. If you want to have an Oscar worthy piece of music or just a top notch track for sync licensing, you need to have a capable director, a large stage crew, and an extensive archive. All these work in harmony together to ensure a smooth and efficient music making process. We want as little resistance as possible in order to get an idea from here onto your computer. Now, when it comes to RAM, most DAWs only need about four to eight gigs. So what we're looking to do is have at least eight to 16 just to start off with. Now, when it comes to CPUs, if you get something within the last two years, most of them are using competitive chips just to make sure they're staying in the market. So that's something that you don't have to pay too much attention to as long as you're using a professional grade laptop. And then as far as with storage, I highly recommend making sure that your computer has a solid state drive when it comes to storage, at least a terabyte, if not two for all your samples, your sample libraries and also your project files because every time you make one song you're probably going to have five to eight stems that multiplies very quickly here are the specs i had from that first macbook pro that i worked with for only 800 dollars it may be about anywhere between 28 to 35 thousand dollars in two years so as it goes to show you don't need the best piece of equipment in order to actually make a living through sync licensing which is awesome but now what i'm working with the mac studio it's using an m1 ultra chip and has quite a lot more storage and ram and so this is what i'm working with now and i'm also also making content and stuff so like it may look like overkill but that's what I need your computer's performance can directly influence whether your track is picked or not whether that be from a timing standpoint how great the quality of production is all that stuff so least path of resistance as possible but there are a couple other mistakes that you can make outside of just choosing the right computer when it comes to sync licensing check this video out here in order to find out what the five most common mistakes are and I'll see you next time